Yes. guys. Yes. Welcome everybody to the Zoning Board, June 6th, 2023. My name is Marty Akins. I'm the chair, this is the vice chair. Mr. Radell, Mr. Hemmel, Mr. Chen, Mr. O'Brien, our clerk, Mrs. Noonan, and uh, the director of inspectional services, Mr. Collins. If you have a cell phone, could you please put it on uh, silent, not to interrupt the meeting? I'm so proud of that. What, no pager? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, said it, I said it for so many years. It's I like, know, but I, I, for so I, I many years. Since I've said it, like you, 70s. Yeah, you've been good. All right. uh, we gotta, one thing we got to do here is. Uh, no, I have a, I meant, before your old business, we've got to uh, move, move a, uh, 20, CBA 2338. Uh, CBA 28. Where do you want that date? What do we got for meeting dates? Yeah, I'm just trying to see uh, what we're That's busy. Just, that's busy, but why don't we do uh, July 11th? Yeah. Yep. ZBA 2338, uh, what was the name of it? JCBT Architect for a variance to build two and a half story addition with a two car garage on the basement level of the premises numbered 28 Furniceburg Parkway, Quincy. Make a motion to move that to 711. 711. On the motion, seeing that, all in favor? Aye. Oh, so moved. Uh, old business, ZBA 23. 2223. 2323, right? Yep. Oh, huh. 573 Washington Street, LLC. For variance and special permit to demolish the existing building, construct a three story, 15 unit residential building with commercial state and first floor in the premise number 573 Washington Street. Councilor, you're up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the board, thank you for hearing this uh, this evening. Uh, my name is Rob Fleming, attorney with Fleming and Fleming. I do represent the applicant here. Uh, 573 Washington Street, LLC. Uh, Minvan, Jim Chan are managers uh, of the LLC. Uh, with me this evening, Chi Man. You all know Chi from Hardy Man Design Group. Uh, he is our civil engineer. Uh, Jim Chen is the architect. Uh, he's here as well, so they'll do a quick presentation with you this evening. So again, 573 to 580, uh, 585 Washington Street. Um, is a property that um, contains 17,000, roughly 782 square feet of land in a business B zoning district, um, currently improved by a single story commercial office building. Uh, in fact, that's where Jim Chen, our architect, uh, operates his uh, architectural firm out of that, uh, that building now. Um, this property is located, as the board knows, in one of, one of the gateways on Washington Street. It's on the corner of Washington and Chubbuck. Uh, street uh, in Quincy Point, which that whole area really down. Uh, right. um, the pro proposal before this board this evening, which is again designed by JCBT Architects Jim Chen of Quincy, is to demolish the existing office building, uh, construct one three story building containing 15 residential units on the second and third floors of the proposed building uh, with ground level. Um, commercial space totaling roughly 2,100 square feet. Uh, the new proposal will provide for parking under the building um, off of Chubbuck. Uh, the entrance to the parking is off of Chubbuck and not Washington um, to accommodate 32 parking spaces. Um, this will allow, also allow for drive up, uh, drop off pickup for mail packages um, and rides as well in, in today's environment. Um, the proposed building obviously will be centered um, on the parcel, which it is not today, um, and will front obviously both Chubbuck and Washington Street. Um, as this board knows, a, a project of, of this size uh, did require us to appear before the planning board for site plan review as well, uh, which we have done. That took a, a number of months, so there wasn't one hearing. Uh, we had originally come uh, before that board with a smaller uh, uh, difference in, in number of units, a little bit higher, um, based on board concerns uh, with different things. We did uh, uh, accommodate that and less units with the 15 today, uh, which they found was, was reasonable. Uh, we were able to push the building back further off of Washington as well to provide a little bit of landscape on Washington, which they appreciated as well. 
Um, and we did provide some interior garage, sidewalk, and entrances to um, to the retail component, commercial component uh, from garage as well. Uh, so that took a number of months. As this board knows, that review process is very thorough. Uh, we did a full traffic study. Um, Ellie Rule, our traffic engineer in the city of Quincy, uh, looked at this as well. Uh, she was satisfied with our responses to any comments she had. Um, civil as well, um, we did some improvements there and, uh, and, and, and addressed those concerns with both city as well as our peer review consultant. So we're here this evening, as this board knows, for some relief. One is a special permit by this board um, for the residential use in a business B zoning district. So we do need a special permit for this, this use, the mixed the mixed use. Um, and variances for some dimensional. Not a lot, um, slight um, you know, requests for uh, some variances um, concerning some of the dimensional requirements. Um, if the board has any questions for me specifically before I turn it over to, uh, um, I think I'll let she. So you have uh, two, you have 30 spaces for the, for the residential? It's gonna be deeded for the residential. 32 spaces, so we'll have a deeded space um, single space. Single space for each of the units. Okay. Uh, these may be rentals, um, may but, be but each unit will be provided uh, one space. What do you mean you maybe? Know? I thought I thought we had a, a project you were building. What did we build? It's a condominium. It's, it's a condominium. Excuse Con me. Excuse me. It is, it, is so con yeah. it is condominium so that those will be deeded, a deeded space single for, unit for, for each unit. Yep. Correct. Yep. And there are two bedroom units? So, uh, there are two bedrooms. Two correct. All two bedroom units. That's correct. Yep. And one and so, parking space per unit. No, there's a, there's an excess of that. You know, there is a mixed use component. Well, that's what we're trying to figure that's out. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Where, where are these people going to park, and where are the people in the Okay, so again, so again, we have um, this. If this it's came a condo. Up, if it's a yeah. condo, I think a guy wants two spaces. You're going to buy a condo. You're, you're right. absolutely right. And so this came up with planning as well. And so what we did with the mixed use component, um, we have a whole parking management plan. Um, which I submitted with the application as well. It's, a, it's kind of a color plan um, where there's going to be some restrictions on some of these spaces during the day or something. Uh, during yeah. the day, correct. You know, so when residents are coming back home in the evening, there's going to be that number of available spaces. What, so what do you got for square yeah. footage on uh, commercial space? We have, uh, it's this two, two commercial units. Okay. Um, totaling 2,100. One, I think, is eight. 800 square, 800 square feet. feet, the other, uh, where Jim will operate his firm out of, uh, will be in the larger space, which is rough, almost 13. So looking at this, it looks like you have a lot more commercial space than 2,800 square feet, am I wrong? 2,100. 2,100 square feet. No, so because you, you have this component here. Um, Parking. And then here is entryway. The entryway, and then smaller, okay. smaller here. Okay. Yep. So, I mean, you, I know. So you basically have a sink. So you have a professional office building, which is going to be dense, and that's, you know, you don't have a lot of foot traffic during the day. So then the 800 square foot space, whatever that. Whatever that may be. Yeah, okay. You know, we, we, we're, 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 we're actually meeting the parking requirement for both the residential, with the 32. Yeah, yeah. We're meeting both the residential requirement as well as the, uh, and I, we used retail space. And retail requires more parking, so we okay. were we were subject to that, okay. and we meet it with the 32 spaces. All right, and, you know. and, the, and the parking, I, that's what I want to hear. I want to hear yep. when, when the hours are for the parking, how they park. Yep. And I, and I, and I remember reading this whole thing before. And then yeah, so you'll see this designated spaces for the residential. Yeah. Um, and then there's spaces that will be sort of commercial and residential at different hours. Right, but, you know? but what time? What time? You, you mean at five o'clock, you're gonna turn that into a residential? That's or correct, nine to five. That, that's correct. At five o'clock? At five o'clock, yep. Okay. Is there any on-street parking in front then? No, 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 no not, not right there, so that's where it no. gets yeah. a little bit narrow, right? right. No. Not narrow, I mean, still two lanes, but a little bit narrow. And so that was important when we started the whole process. You know, you have to look at at where you're actually developing. You know, there is no available parking uh, uh, off-site, you know, so we wanted to provide as much as we could on-site. Height is? You know, 40 feet. 33. 33? 33. 33 feet to the, uh, to the top of the roof, and we're having sort of a corner tile feature. So this height is 40 feet. Cool. 
And how far back are you pushed off? So along Washington Street is a 10.4 feet setback. And then on this side is close to uh, 10 feet. And what's that current sidewalk, like four, five? Six. Current sidewalk so, at, at this side, very minimum. We have a uh, buffer of about eight feet, 10 feet. Okay, good. And again, the entrance to uh, the egress to the parking is, is off the shopping. Both yeah. entrance and e Both, yes. yes. One way in, one way out, yeah. nothing off the street, right? Nothing on That's Washington, right. right? Nothing, no. Perfect. No. That's all I got. Anyone else? Too bad you couldn't have bought that two family in the back there, knock that down, put more parking in. Yeah, there's another one on the other side. There's always <laughs> there's always attempts that are made, but it's hard yeah. sometimes. They won't see the sun till three thirty in the afternoon. You know, you're finished. I'm finished. A question on the transition on the commercial parking to residential. How's that going to be enforced, and is it is going to be like good faith? So there's going to be well, obviously, I mean, Jim's office is going to be there. He's the manager, you know, and 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 you know, he'll he'll be there on site. Um, it, there's, there's rules and regulations that are going to have to be enforced by, by the association of when people can park and when they need to leave. I think it's he's saying, um, is there going to be signage there at 5 p.m.? Be, that's part of the whole man, the park management plan on that plan. There will be a lot of signage, and that's how it's typically handled is, is signage. And then, obviously, it has to be enforced as well. So, you know, when, so when the people get a deeded parking space, for example, yep. it's going to come with restrictions that they can't park or certain hours? Well, the rest of the 15 residential, oh. it's going to be, one. you're going to be allowed to park there anytime you want. Okay. It's more on the commercial end where each, each of these two tenants are going to be advised, you know, no longer parking in those particular spaces that are marked uh, for both, you know, so you get to clear cars out of there at five o'clock. And then they're going to be taken know, over to, by residents? By the residences, correct. Yep. And a good on and some don't want to believe it, but on average, you're looking between one and one and a half spaces per unit um, is what the demand is today. But the, but the, yeah, is. the half don't yeah. help nobody when they get too fast. It, it, no, it doesn't. But on average, it's about one and a half spaces per unit. You know. Complicated question. Sure. Fifteen spaces go deeded to the condo owner. Right. You're going to reserve the other spaces. Are they going to be available for sale for a condo owner if you wanted to purchase one, or are you going to leave those seven? They will know. Right? They're going to have to be separate because they're going to be they're going to be more or less shared uh, with the, with the with the commercial component. You so know, it's, it's going to have time restrictions on them. The remaining yeah. seventeen will be up for grabs. Um, Jim, correct? I think there's there's a number of shared. Which is the purple and the green? Um, Shared by who? And the oh, that, yeah. that's yeah. the commercial. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a number of, of just plain shared as well. You know, some some are going to have time restrictions. You know, uh, between the commercial and the residential, that they're going to have to the commercial at five o'clock. They're going to have to move any cars that are in those particular spaces. But at nine um, o'clock in the morning, you got to move your car out of that spot because as a resident, yeah. as a resident, yeah. too. Look, yep. it happens all over Boston. Oh, no, I know. Yeah. I, just, um, I just wanted to I know, clarify this is what crazy. they were going to do. I know. <laughs> talk talk the about growing up. Huh? Yeah. No, it's a good question. No, it is. Yeah. They were going to be, I think we some of them were going to be sold. Because the streets are so congested. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, but you look at, you, so if you're going to say that, like, then you'd have yep. to say that, that, you know, you cannot park on the street, period, and if you own a house, and, like, you have to, Pull your no, car I'm, not saying, stack I'm not saying that no. at all. This is a commercial street, and it's a main drag, and, and there's no place to park now. I understand that, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like we, we, we drive up and down, knows. we drive up and down streets when there's a snow emergency and there's no cars on the street. You drive up and down that street in the middle of the summer, and everybody's parked on the street. What? Why? Because it's easy, and there's nobody towing. There's nobody. That's up to the city council to go and redesign a parking plan. That actually addresses the concerns of what well, happens. I also think it's up to us to make sure that there's plenty of parking for there's residents. There's plenty of parking. They just need to pull into their driveways. Yeah. They just won't. No, I'm talking. I'm talking about. You have 32 parking spots. Yeah, and, and it's seven in the morning. All of a sudden, you're sick that day. You got to go move your car. Mm. Move your car. How do you gain access to the parking areas? Restricted. Yes. Passkey will be a gate, or is it just open? 
it's you're going to cost them. Yeah. Yeah. Again, design now is just open. You know, uh, planning. You know, sometimes they uh, would like some type of gate. You know, but I, I don't think it work here because it's going to also be for yeah. the delivery, the deliveries as well. You know, is that is Chubb Street restricted? Restricted parking. Restricted parking. Yes. Yeah. Uh, up up to uh, Just, yeah. up to this side. Yeah. Parking starts on this side. Right here. Restricted. Yeah, no closer. Park, no parking no adjacent to where you're building. But yeah, closer to the light. Right. I After think, you yeah. go by your building, the park is by right. your right. For like two hours or three hours. There's well. no, there's right. no, there's no, no sign. There's actually no, no sign. Not a no. single no. signage. Huh? There's no, no signage. No. None. No. no. Okay. I missed that. Yeah. yeah. You know, so obviously this was reviewed civilly as well, you know, with drainage and, and those things and both, both by city officials as well as uh, peer review consultants. So um, I'm happy to have Chi come and present if you would like. I would. Uh, you would? Okay, great. Some of other infrastructures supporting this building. Um, yes, 
So it doesn't seem to be coming off on Chocolate Street. Um, I want to hear about the building itself, the apartments, and what's in there. And okay. Sure. What are you sure. putting through? Yep. Uh, Jim Chen, our architect, is here as well, so oh. we can certainly present. Yeah. Show you the good side and how the building looks like. Well. Good evening, Mr. Chairman and members of the board, Jim Chen, architect. Um, so on the, on, the, on the ground level, there's two commercial buildings, uh, two commercial units. Um, and then on the second floor, we have uh, a total of uh, seven units on the second floor. Um, range about it's all two beds, two baths, ranging from uh, 950 to uh, like 1100 square feet. Um, one of the space uh, we are dedicating to uh, a, a, a lounge space on the second floor, and then on the third floor, we have a, a mansard roof type uh, structure um, that is uh, also uh, a duplication of, of what's beneath, beneath that um, total of eight units. Um, similar size, um, 950 to 1100 square feet, all two beds. So in total, 15 units, two beds, two baths. Um, central quarter uh, serving the, the front and the back units, two, two set of stairs on, on the end, either end of the building. And uh, a service elevator that goes up to, um, to all floors. Mm -hmm. Couple questions. Yes. Did you ever look at making the commercial units on the first floor residential? No. Okay. So hypothetically, we can put two units there, right? So then we'd have 18 total with 32 parking spots. Parking wouldn't change. Correct. Correct. Sure. Did we ever look at making the whole entire first floor park? We have. Okay. So you could get how many additional parking spots? But Five. Th those would be tenant parking. No, no, no. I mean, if we made the entire first floor we raised the whole second floor, it's just residential only. How many parking spots could we potentially get there? And not, those, those, those won't be legal parkings? It'll be tenant parkings? No, 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 I, I think you misunderstand. So I, I removed the commercial space. Yeah. Hypothetically, I removed that all space. All garage, if it was all garage. If it was all garage, yeah. how many additional parking spots do you think I fit? Well, five? If, if, if it would do a tenant park, Oh, it'll be the whole entire road. Oh, so I, I do tandem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I, I thought you said tenant. Sorry, my bad. Tandem. So if I did tandem, so you'd have a whole other row. They'd each get tandem parking. And we know that tandem parking doesn't work because right. people don't do it in their own driveways, let alone in an apartment complex right. or a condo. All right. And if, and if we push all those to the front, maybe I get five on the right side or something, you know, like, or four, you know, in that yeah, kind of... Yeah, I don't think it's deep enough. I don't think it's yeah. deep enough. It's so not deep enough to have parking. I've got to remove four of those, right. you know, or two of those on that side. So now I got, I can come in this way and get, you know, five additional spots. I think maybe total. I'd be lucky to get five additional. So, I, I mean, I, I just, I, I think you designed it well. I like the look of the building. I just don't... Look, I know what, what the problems are gonna be. It's always parking in the city. Um, I think that hearing what you just said, there's like the alternatives aren't better, you know? Uh, unless we get rid of, you know, two, three units, that's the only way to make it look better. And I, I just don't, I don't see the value in that personally. So I like, I like what you did. What's the front of the building? What, what, are, what are you putting on the facade? So the, on the ground level, we have majority of brick veneers uh, on the mm -hmm. ground level, and along with uh, storefront windows and doors. And then on the second floor, already lap sidings, 17 lap sidings. Um, and third floor is just a um, um, mantle roof with uh, asphalt shingles. Any questions? Okay. No questions. No motion. Thank you. Thank you. Does there anyone want to speak in favor? Does anyone want to speak in favor? First call, second call. Wait, I'll give it a quick. Sorry. Don't apologize. John Waterfield, 62 Gramall Road. Um, the reason I like this is this is a good example of squeezing a lot of new growth and not a huge lot. So we do need the new growth, and you know, 
it is weird you say that like you know who would move here people who want to park aren't going to want to move here so there are these new people coming to Quincy who don't drive you know who don't you know I'm sure there are going to be people who are going to park on the street and get their cars towed from this place because you can't park on the street there but I don't think this is a bad project um, simply because of the new growth I, I love the new growth I think we're going to get like eight nine million dollars worth of new taxes out of this property and you know the only way like you were saying before if there was maybe like um, no commercial stuff there so the commercial stuff that is in there, I don't think many people are going to go to JCVT Architects. I think that is a perfect tenant. If they can find another tenant like that, it will be perfect. But whoever moves in there, let them move in there. But I am in favor of this because of the new growth. Thank you. Paul's driving this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, last call. Anyone speak in favor? Call that pilot. Aaron Coles, I got a letter here from the DPW. We reviewed the above reference project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? First call, second call, third call. Closed, counselor? Back counselor. Oh. <laughs> Here he is. He's all set. Couldn't see you back there. I know. I'm all set for right now. I appreciate the discussion before. Regarding the parking issues, it seems like a gentleman on the right track. And I, I feel to mention uh, the councilor was very uh, helpful uh, at the beginning of the whole process. We did have a neighborhood meeting as well. Uh, thank you. Um, um, I think we had one or two that actually appeared. It was through a Zoom. Um, and so no, no real uh, you know, concern by, by the residents in the area. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. A couple councilors. Different councilors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, I feel bad about the people behind that building. I get it. I mean, yeah. I get it. It's growth, and you got, and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I get it, and, and it's that's all going to be commercial. That whole thing sometime, but some of those residents are going to stay in the end. Maybe he's got to go up a floor to get some sun. I don't know, but it's twenty one hundred square feet of commercial space. No, I, it's not exactly. It's not that. That doesn't bother me at all. No, I, I mean, I, I just feel bad for the people behind. You know the way, the way it's designed. You know, it's screw it. It, that second floor is skewed in that place. That's life, I guess. Uh, comments? Okay, it's the gateway to our city. We've done a lot of work on other gateways to our yep. city. Um, it's it's not. It's on the edge of a neighborhood. We're trying to preserve neighborhoods. I know. Um, I, I I understand the parking consensus. It's a bus route. No, I know. Um, it's I know. growth. I, I, I don't think you're going to see the the issue that we kind of think we might see from parking. Um, I just think that's the future, man. I like the project. Yep. I, I think they did a good job. I think it's well designed. There was an article about a week ago, two weeks ago, in the ledger saying about the challenges between that part of Washington Street and going over the bridge in yeah. that section in Weymouth yeah. about how difficult it is to draw our, uh, development in. Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, as much ahead. as I'd like to see more parking, I, I, I think I'm in favor of this. Yep. I'm in favor. Likewise. Can I have a motion, please? Mr. Chairman, ZBA 2323-573 Washington Street LLC for a variance and special permit to demolish the existing building and construct a three-story, 15-unit residential building with commercial space on the first level of the premise number 573 Washington Street, Quincy. I make a motion to grant the variance and special permit. Second. On the motion, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Kat. Further on to tonight's agenda, new business, CBA 2023. Isn't Garcia for a variance to remove the existing decks on the rear mm -hmm. of our home and construct a new two and a half story mm -hmm. on the premises 198 Main Street? If, uh, if you could please, uh, anyone going to speak tonight, could you please raise your right hand, uh, Mr. Chin, if you could please. Sure. If you want to speak tonight. Um, if anyone's going to speak tonight, please raise your right hand and take an oath. If not, you won't be able to speak. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in the matter I'm hearing. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. 
Name and address. Good evening, everybody, and the, and the members of the jury. My name is Eastman, 188 Main Street, Quincy. Um, I am 25 years old, full time and work and student and worker. I have I'm a mother of a baby boy and a three years old girl. I'm also a foster parent working with DCF to care with kids in needs and emergency situations. If you could just slow down a little bit and speak up, people have to hear you in the back. Thanks. All right, thank you. The recent, um, I purchased my home in 2019. I started working with DCF um, the same year I purchased my home. Um, the reason for my request, the permit, is to add an extension to my home. Uh, the moment I have a park porch in each unit, unit one and two, um, that it's already in need of work. My home, it's a family home. My mother lives on the first floor, uh, who, who is also a foster mom, and I live on the second floor. I have a two bedroom on my floor, um, one which is very small, which is my daughter, um, can barely fit a taller bed, and the other one is uh, a regular side bedroom. Um, since my family is growing, um, I'm in need of a space and a privacy for my kids and the foster kids I care for. Um, I'm having, at the moment, I'm having difficulty caring for, uh, for my foster kids um, due to space. If there's, for example, if they're siblings, I'm having to separate them and only be able to take and take in one of them um, due to the space. Um, my request is to convert the back porch of each unit into a room and connect them to my home. Um, this project will be for the first and second floor. Um, I'll be sure uh, my team and myself will be sure to follow any precautions um, and guidance to have a safe and satisfactory project. Um, my project is estimated to take, um, to expect it to take from six to eight weeks. Um, and that's what I have. Any questions? Just one so far. When the architect drew your plans, did they look at moving the addition over a little bit? Just because you're when you get to the back rear corner, it's right on your neighbor's line. Did they ever look to try and like offset it? Did you ever look at that? We did, and he said it will be um, more money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And just because you have to, it just it gets it's really yeah, tight. It's a yeah, it's a foot and a half. Only a foot. No. So. Any other question? I have the same issue I marked over here. 1.7 is very, very tight to the line, and I, I don't usually approve things that are that close. Yeah, I know, and then, it, I mean, the far is way up there, and I, and I get it. It's, it's a weird lot, um, but, you know, it's... it's. If Let me ask you, six. if that was all we were willing to consider, I'm able to. You'd move it over? Yes. Okay. So just, just want to throw that out there. That, yeah. That, because it's already a small lot. It's already, you know, narrow Tiny, in yeah. the back. So, look, we want to try and help you, but that yeah. might be, it, we got to make sure we protect That's the fine. neighborhood, too. Well, uh, I think there's an issue there on it anyway. Why don't, why don't we just have her go back and come up with those plans? Yeah, come up with those set of plans. Can All you right? ask him to draw that for you? So we can yeah, see it yeah, and just try and come off that lot line on the back rear as much as he thinks he can and make it work for you. Okay, you know, almost try and put it in the middle there. So, oh, you. you know, I, I know it's going to look a little funny um, and, and it might feel a little weird that way, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's too close on that side. All right. And let's just see what it looks like. Let's, let's, let's have him draw it out and see what it looks like. Is there any other issues there? The fire, Are people okay with the fire? I'm sure they've nice. And you guys are you guys are both main, planning on maintaining the home yes. for now, so it's just yes, mom on the mom, first yeah. floor and you on the second? Yes. Perfect. Right. Yeah, if you can just have them just try and try and screw it over as far as you guys are comfortable and see what that looks like. All right. Does that make All sense? Right. And then we'll have you come back and when we can see those. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. Three, seven, seven here, July eleventh. So what are we but that's eleventh a month. You can do that. It's just a quick addition. Oh, no, no, I'm not worried about it. I'm just saying we got seven. Yeah, we got that one more quick. This is quick. Three, right? We look at the six. pictures and see what it is, you know? Yeah. Is anybody well, here to speak? Well, I'm not going to let them because it's not the project they're going to uh, see anyway. That wouldn't be fair to anybody. Uh, Another question? If I, yep, yep. Just on the parking, she's got the one space. Is, it, is that correct? Yeah, and I have the Closing one space? Yes. It, it's a two-family, right? Yes. Yeah. 
And it is what it is, and they got one spot in it. I mean, we, yeah, that's why I'm just asking if there's any more issues here. And the fire, fire is going up to 0. 0.6 on this building. Fire, fire includes is, the basement. Yeah, fire does not hurt. It is. It includes the basement, I know. But it's 0. 0.6. Yeah, the, the, the side riders are our biggest issue. So parking wise, that's so tight over that. There's idea. nothing you can do. No. I, I mean, potentially, if you get another one here. Yeah, it should be another one right up front. So you have the front left, right? Yes. Where's your parking now? Front left yes. of the house? Yes. Yeah. What's on the right? Just uh, the the driveway. Yeah. So the driveway's on your right yeah. right now? Um, on if I'm looking at your house, what's on my right? So you on your left. That's the oh, left. My left. Yeah, yeah, my okay. left. What's on the right there? Is there a retaining wall right there? Yeah, that's the wall. I mean you could potentially try and get a Squeeze spot on the wood in there. Yes. But it's not one of them. Maybe. It could. Yeah, I mean, there's room maybe, at least maybe, for a spot. Maybe right? you can look at making another Can you ask us just look at, put a spot in on that right side as well? At least one? Just, we're just trying to get, you, you're making a big house. It's not for you guys, I get it. Maybe only you only have one driver now, today, or two. But what if you sell it and right. you've got four drivers now, you know, like now we have, just like we were just right. talking about those people, like yeah. now we have more cars on the street. So look at that too. When, he, when he's driving the plants, have him put a, try and put a parking spot on the right side as well. Okay. Mr. Jim. So there's a driveway in, marked on her drawing yeah. to, the the left. Left. to the right. It says it's on the But I thought it was on the left. It's so on the right, to the too. right of the it's front of the house. It's, it's, right. it's, yes. it's to the right? All right. So, so, what about, so, so we can put one on the left. Huh? Or, 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 or if you can go into the driveway and then turn right, you can yeah. get two spaces. Two spaces on the side. Okay. Right. Yeah, then, so try and find at least two spaces. Okay. If you can if, tell them when you're looking at it to try and find two spaces. Okay. Because, yeah, this is this is. It is. It's, it's a lot for for one. That's, that's like bizarre. But uh, July 11th, good. July 11th, work. Okay, okay with you. Right. I'll give you a month to get it, but you have to have it a week ahead of time. Yeah, if you okay. can get it to us a week ahead of time, so we can see the plants. All right, sounds good. Thank they're, you. They're closed the third and the fourth. So. All right, thank so you. So if you bring them, yeah, it's got to be done. Do you have a question? Go ahead. Yes, and I have he a could. Question. Do you concern about the right side of the setback? Yes, yeah, so the back, yeah. right, the center. where it's yeah. only a foot and a half off your line. Yeah. Just get it as much off that as we can. We can't have it a foot and a half for many reasons. You know, it's just yeah. it's not fair to your neighbor That's and right. and right. and fire reasons. You know, if they ever have to get to the back corner of your house, so. Yeah, there is space. Yeah, if we can just scoot it over as much as you think you can. All right. And find some parking space. ZBA 23-3. This one Garcia for a variance to remove the existing decks on the rear of the home and construct a new two-story addition on the premise numbered 198 Main Street. Quincy, I make a motion to move to 711. Second. On the motion. Seeing that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Close. you. Thank July 11th. Yes. Get them here like July 1st or something. If okay. you can. To yeah. the park. Okay. And if you need to, if you, for some reason it's going to be delayed, just let, let her know. Okay. okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Further on the, tonight's agenda, ZBA 2330, JBC Architect for Advantage to construct an addition on the existing second floor and finish the basement, 657 Quincy Shore Drive. The applicant representative here. Good evening again, um, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Jim Chen, architect, um, for the record, 585 Washington Street, Quincy. So the subject property at 657 uh, Quincy Shore Drive is in a residential B zoning district. Uh, it sits in a corner lot uh, with approximately 8,525 square feet of lot size. Uh, it's currently occupied by a two-family dwelling, uh, a duplex style, uh, with an unfinished basement. So the, prop uh, the property owner is proposing to add a second floor addition um, by adding an additional one bedroom, and one bath, and, and a larger living space, um, and also finishing the existing basement for the um, unit one. So the property is actually not in the flood zone, um, which will not require any kind of uh, notice of intent with the Conservation Commission. The existing house currently has five bedrooms, um, two, two baths, with approximately nine, uh, 1,956 square feet of living area. Uh, we're, and we're proposing 4,015 square feet, uh, consisting of eight bedrooms and four baths. Noted that this um, uh, square footage also includes the uh, finished basement space. 
uh, the property has a waterfront view, so the, uh, the property owner wanted to take that advantage of, uh, of the ocean view. So we're seeking uh, variance for a maximum FAR allow um, in, in this, um, in the proposal we have is 0.47 FAR, and the allow is 0.40. Yep. Um, but other than that, we do meet all of the requirements uh, of the dimensional requirements. Um, it, actually on site right now, it has uh, five parkings, so sufficient for the um, two garage parking and uh, three on-site. Do you have eight bedrooms? Uh, cur currently it has five. Uh, five, and we're adding two in the basement and one additional on the uh, second floor. Okay, so so is it questions? Single family zone now, or is it two family? It's a two, zone two, now? two. It's occupied as two family. It's basement. occupied. So basement's occupied as a separate unit right now. No, basement is currently unfinished. Basement's it, currently unfinished. Yeah. They want to finish that and add it into um, the unit one. So we'll, so that'll be unit one. Unit one. Yeah. Which, and then today it's, it sits four bedrooms on that first floor. Correct. Yeah. How many bedrooms will be on that first floor? Three now. Currently, it's, yeah. it's, it's currently it's four. It will be four. Three. Well, it will be three. Four. Put two in the basement. Right. One second three. unit upstairs, yes. which has two bedrooms, which we'll have two. Yeah. It's a lot of bedrooms on a single Just lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I get it. You have some space in the back, and there's parking to the left, parking behind the garage. That's a lot of bedrooms, my man. Yeah. But I have like what they've done with the place over the last few years. You know, oh, they yeah, have cleaned yeah. it up really good. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the place was a disaster before. So. Uh, I don't have any questions. I just think it's too big myself. I just think it's a little much. And, and yeah, what's the, what's the need for the bedrooms in the basement and as you well? You go way over to the fire. And, one minute, let me finish. And, and the fire relief is like too much. Of it. It's just too many bedrooms, way too big. For that just not needed. Good. What's the what's the reason for the two additional on the basement? I mean, it sounds like it's going to be three separate units to me. You know. No, no. The uh, the basement actually will be connected to the uh, first floor. I get so, it, but I'm just you know what I'm saying. Like it's like you put two bedrooms in a basement bed. Like I I could understand if it was like a finished play area for a family or you know like an office and a play area with 2023. But it just seems like there's a lot of bedrooms. I, I can clarify a little bit on that. Oh, this is actually the property owner. Yeah, yeah. Name and address, please. Uh, David Chen, 607 Windsor Drive. Did so, you take an oath? Uh, I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, basically, uh, my wife and I just had a son, and right now the basement is unfinished, and our plan is basically to turn it into like a playroom slash, basically a playroom, and then eventually, um, you know, of course, like guest bedrooms because the family comes yeah, over. Yeah, ex exactly. So it. It sounds like it's a four bedroom on the first floor, but it's, it's really actually like a two bedroom and then one of the bedrooms we use as a dining room, one of the rooms we use as an office. So it's, it's actually pretty small. Um, so I, I know four bedrooms sounds like a lot, but it's really not. But you're going to have three bedrooms on there now, according to your plans, when you, on the first floor. And then you're going to have one upstairs. Two upstairs. No. Yeah, well, we're going to have two upstairs afterwards. Right now there's only one. And then um, you know, we use that to rent out. And then we just basically want the basement, which is unfinished currently, it's just like storage to be finished and be able to use that space because it is actually a pretty small house. If we said you yeah, don't put any bedrooms in the basement right now, I'll approve it. How would you feel about that? Uh, I, I mean, I mean, like you could put a Murphy bed down there and throw it down when you have guests coming, and I wouldn't care. It's just it's the, the implication of putting a, of two extra bedrooms in a basement tells me like you're going to also rent the basement. I know you're not. Like it's your Next house. I mean, of, of course. You have a beautiful view. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the person you sell it to. Right. You sell it to somebody, right. and all of a sudden we got an eight-bedroom house. Right. You know, it's, it's where you're using it for in-laws to come in and right. your parents to come in and friends and family. Like, I get your use. Yeah. It's the next use that I'm concerned about. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, I guess if, you know, that's what you say, that's, that's a fair compromise. Um, it's just, you know, I, I guess I want to leave that option open to Sure. No, no, and I get it. I get it. Yeah. I think, yeah, this is too big. This is an apartment down there. I'm sorry, this is the way I see it. 
too much. I'd be okay with the addition, but not in favor of the bedrooms in the basement. Yeah. What about an open floor plan? Yeah, how about, how about just a finished basement instead of a... A finished basement? Yeah, finished basement. No no bedrooms. Yeah. Just all walls. All walls, maybe a bathroom or something. <laughs> you go. I mean, I, I have a bathroom in my finished no, basement no, for my no, kids no. to... I don't want them to come upstairs. I don't want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the... Based on the the review of the letter, it said they, were, they wanted to do this expansion because of the water views, taking advantage of the ocean views. I don't know if that's going to happen from the basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, the additions on that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I see, I, I, with this area, I see a future B&B. &B, yep. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'd be definitely opposed to and it's, it, and it's business B. I mean, it's res B, so right. you can easily do it. Yeah, right. Anywhere in it. Yeah, easy with five bed, eight bedrooms, of course. So, uh, I think I'm, I, I'm, I'm you have, you have a choice, I guess, to have a just a plain finished basement with no bedrooms, which would be on your deed, mm -hmm. and you have an addition that you can put up. Yep, yeah, I'll take that. All right, so we're, we're down to five beds. <gasps> Seven, six beds. Six, six beds. Six beds. Still one a one lot of bedrooms. Sure is. Is it? <laughs> six beds, yeah. Three and three? Well, it's three and two, isn't it? Where did we get eight? No, it's two down the basement. Yeah, I know. No, it was three and two. Did we calculate no, it? No, they had the next one. It four on the first two. Eight, seven, four. That's what it was. Yeah. Right. Right. So but now there's going to be three in the first, correct? Well, well, I guess the four, the four first is floor, existing. First floor is un unchanged, yeah, so it's just on the second floor, there'll be an additional one. Two bedrooms. Yep. yep. All right. All right. Just so we know what we're all talking about when people speak. Right? Do we? Okay. Sometimes. <laughs> you can have a seat. Is there anyone that wants to speak in favor? We're talking about six bedrooms now. He's adding... He's adding uh, Really, two bedrooms on the on the second addition. Floor. Second, on the second floor, second floor, right? Two bedrooms. Anyone want to speak in favor? First call, second call, third call closed. They have a letter here from DPW. They reviewed the above reference project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed to undecided? First call, second call, third call closed. I'll be voting in favor with uh, just no bedrooms in the basement. I'm, I'm saying I, I think yeah. it's a I think I, I've watched them improve the condition of the right. house I think they've done a really good job yep. I would love to you know give them everything they want but that's just too many bedrooms so yep. I'd say open floor plan in the basement I'm good agreed same here yep. have a motion please ZBA 23-30 JCBT architect for a variance to construct an addition on the existing second floor and finish the basement on the premise number 657 Quincy Shore Drive, Quincy, I make a motion to grant the variance with six total bedrooms. Six total bedrooms and, and just uh, and an unfinished open. Just an open floor plan floor in the plan. basement, which will be put on the deed. Second? Second. On the motion? Yeah, we uh, right after this. Uh, on the motion, seeing that, all in favor? Aye. Right. Opposed? So moved. Let's take five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Take five minutes.
CBA 2333, James McCarthy for Vantage to construct a new two-story, two-car garage on the existing foundation wall with a pool house on the second floor on the premise number 90 Babcock. Mr. McCarthy, how are you tonight? Great, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. My name is Jim McCarthy. I reside at 90 Babcock Street. That's the property I'm looking to do this uh, garage on. Okay. I'm proposing to construct a two-story uh, garage with a pool, uh, changing room, and pool cabana above. Uh, so I'm looking for a setbacks for the front setback, as well as a height uh, setback uh, restriction. Um, request. That's, What's the height on it? The height is uh, 22 feet 10 inches from the street level. So it comes down a little bit there. Yeah, it does. right. Yeah. I'm set up yeah. on like a three and a half, four foot um, yeah. grade. What we're yeah. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. So I'm looking to construct this over the existing driveway which is built into the lot. Originally, mm -hmm. this was two house lots uh, that went from Babcock Street to Manit Ave. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought the property, subdivided it. Manit Ave has their own house, and this one we retained for our house for a pool. Mm -hmm. um, back in 1990s, my father built a garage foundation there mm -hmm. for parking, and um, hasn't done anything with it since. So I bought the house in 2010, uh, haven't done anything with it until now, and finally, kids are growing up. They're out of the house. I can afford to build something. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm really looking for a place to entertain. Yes. Hoping for grandkids someday and um, want a little bit more than just a uh, pool in the yard. You know we tend to just drop them off, right, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> they're, too old to drop, they're too old to drop off. I'm just worried they're going to try to drop me off somewhere. So. Uh... Go over what's going to be upstairs. So, upstairs is, well, it's basically one big room with a, um, a bathroom, a shower, and a toilet. Uh, in the room, there'll be a wet bar on the opposing wall of the bathroom. And that's pretty much it. There's area for seating, a pool table in the front. Uh, yeah, nothing, no walls except for the bathroom. It's wide open except for the bathroom. No bedroom. No bedroom. Yeah. One big giant room. Yep, perfect. One big giant room. Any questions? No questions. No questions. Huh? Oh, you can have a seat, Thank you. Is there anyone who want to speak in favor? I do. John Orfelsky, Stu Grandmall Road. Um, I always speak in favor of um, building a Bubby garage, so I like this plan. This is good space. I've, um, I think I've been in that backyard before, so oh. I hope after you finish, mm. I might get invited to that wet box, but I'm in favor of this. Thank you. Is there anyone want else want to speak in favor? Just want to be like, oh boy, <laughs> Second call, third call. All the final hearing closed. I have a letter here from DPW. They reviewed the above project and have no comments. Is there anyone opposed to run the side? Opposed? State your name and address for the record. Yeah, my name's uh, Glenn Vrabel. I live at 89 Babcock Street, and also in the house at 85 Babcock Street. This is directly across the street from Mr. McCarthy's. Mm -hmm. I've lived there for 39 years. I went to high school at my mother's house next door, mm -hmm. which I own now. Um, I've had a beautiful water view that I love every day. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys, it's not important to you, but it's really important to mm -hmm. me. 39 years. Mm -hmm. Grew up my family there. Um, it's just a shame that it's this garage is gonna overtake my whole view. And I know that's not a, like I said, important to most people, but to me it is. Um, that's my number one. Also, it's gonna bring his property value up, mine down. Because the other reason is, I think that this garage too close to the street is gonna be, look, totally obnoxious in this tight neighborhood. Um, 
it's going to be instead of me looking at a view in a driveway, I'm looking at this monster's building. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think it's just gonna, like I said, it's gonna look obnoxious, out of place. I was always curious about the setback from the street. This looks like it's going to be three feet from the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Obnoxious to me. Nothing against South Boston or Dorchester, but we're Quincy. We're How's Neck. Mm -hmm. Not good. Um, the last thing is, to me, it's a lot of kids in the neighborhood. You see them riding bikes, people walking dogs. I have a work van in my driveway. I don't have a garage, and I have enough spots for three or four cars. And I have a hard time sometimes pulling out of my driveway on a safety issue because I get a look, pull out a little bit, look. And next you know, a car comes flying by, and I'm like, whoa, you know? Mm -hmm. I can't see how he's got a big pickup truck. I can't see how he's going to be able to pull out of that safety. Uh, like I said, kids ride, little kids riding bikes, not paying attention. Mm -hmm. People walking their dogs, talking with earbuds on, and I just can't see if it's hard for me in my driveway. To me, that's a major safety issue for a small mm -hmm. neighborhood with a lot of kids, a lot of people. I guess that's it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. All right, thanks. Uh, they do have those mirrors you can put up so you can look and see, probably a good idea. Counselor? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Dave McCarthy, uh, Ward 1 Counselor, 48 Whitney Road. Um, I, I agree about the view thing that we hear all the time, but it is what it is. And I, I've been down there a couple of times uh, uh, with Jim looking at the property. There's a lot of properties in Howe's Neck um, that have garages that are close to the street, and all the streets are pretty tight. Um, I think that this is a plus in regards to utilizing space for his pool, but also getting his vehicles off the street. Um, you know, Babcock is, all those streets, there's a lot of street parking, and I think this is a plus that he'll be able to garage his truck and another vehicle uh, and get it off the street, and that'll help down there. So I think it's a, it's a good project, and I support it. Thank, Thank you, you. Council. Pascal, other part of hearing close. Uh, any comments from anybody? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've been rejecting anything with water and toilets and in, in, in living quarters above garages. Um, what? We, just, we, we just threw them down twice this morning. And I think we're going to set a tough precedent if we end up renting one to you. What, what about a wet bar? What about a wet bar? I mean, it's going to be an entertainment room like for his, for his pool. A wet bar, no shower. So there's, on, there's only going to have an inch and a half drain. It's not going to be no shower if you take the shower. That way they got a wet bar and a place to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I, I, the again, it, it would, I think one of them, we, we allow the toilet, right? We allow the toilet and a, wet, and, and a right. sink. So I'm gonna think no, no shower. No showers. No showers. Because, because then it's a bed. Then they can just turn it into a rent. Then, there's been three of them we already rejected. We've already said no in three occasions, not to yeah, we did not the shops, but yeah. we did the one on top of a wet uh, But we the guy in Swanton we let let do the uh, wet the wet bar and the toilet. toilet. Right. Right. And, and and something like that doesn't bother me. As long as the drain pipe is small enough, you can't you you just I mean, it's in his D. It's, there's no shower in that place, and it can't be rented. God forbid if he ever did, and something happened, it's over. We're right? doing outdoor showers. You'd be doing 10, 15 years, you know? So, in the big house. 10, 15. Yeah. Right. Good lawyer, you get 15. <laughs> <laughs> but what about uh, just the wet bar for the pool? Yeah, and a toilet. I think we're, I, the toilet. we're done. Yeah, the shower, I get it. I get the shower part, I get it. I get it. Uh, you know, you don't need a shower because there's another one down the, could, down the neck that we did too. I might have missed that one, but I know we did the top of uh, the right, right, uh, right, right off of the uh, right off of Bellevue. Bellevue. Yeah, Bellevue. Corner Bellevue and Bellevue. Right. Uh, right. Where the guy put in that? Bellevue and Wedgwood, I think it would be the shower. And one comment I made, Jim. You know those those signs, the the mirrors that they make, really. 
I mean, don't take a lot to put a little matter up and take a look and see what's coming either way when you're coming out of the garage. Because I'll be voting in favor. Yeah, it stinks for that guy. I know what he feels like. You know what? I just approved the house in front of my house. So I, and, and took out my old pedic arms gone. Like, second well, it's time. not all gone. But nine S seven, seven. Second time. I know Mr. Uh, Council McCarthy's uh, probably got some zoning questions coming up in, in terms of revamping the map at some point or revamping the rules. But that's yeah. another one. You know, right. you know we, we don't, right. the, the water view is only given to the person mm -hmm. on the, in front of the water. That's the way we've treated it since I've been here. So yeah. I, I, I sympathize with you. I'm, I'm 100 yards from the water myself and I've seen people build right in front of me. So I, I wish I could, you know, make a decision based on that, but precedence has been set and, and that's the way the rules work. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna worry about the water and I apologize to you, sir, um, but I, I will be in favor based on, uh, I think it's a decent project. I'll be in favor as well. I think uh, Mr. McCarthy as a first responder for many, many years in the city of Quincy will be a careful driver. Well, yeah. backing up. So with the caveats of yeah. the uh, right. bathroom and the walking water? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, I'll be in favor with the caveats. Yeah, yeah. Can I have a motion, please? Mr. Chairman, ZBA 2333, James McCarthy for advantage to construct a new two-story, two-car garage on the existing foundation wall with a pool house on the second level of the premise of number 90 Babcock Street, Quincy, with the exception of no showers. So just a, uh, small a toilet, uh, small sink, and a uh, wet bar. Make small, a motion. Small drain pipe, but just, uh, just for the bathroom. Right. Make a motion to grant the variance. Second. On the motion, stand on all in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed, so motion. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman, you. members of the board. Sorry. Further on tonight's agenda, ZBA 2336, Brian Bernard for variance, construct a new two-story garage on the side of the home in the front of 41 Cranch Street. Brian Bernard, 41 Cranch Street. Uh, not unlike the previous applicant, uh, I'm hoping to build a two-story uh, two garage, 16 by 36. Which would give us time to park and for winter time when we have crazy storms. That's kind of what I'm thinking on that. Upstairs, we, we've got three little kids. We want to do a, basically a playroom, an open playroom. Um, there's a couple of variants that we have to apply for. Setback on the left side. Height, because it's two-story. And it's going to be attached to the house. It's going through zone as an accessory dwelling building. Now, there's no way to get into that second floor our from the house, correct? No, yeah, from outside. It will be down our deck and then a door through the garage and then a stairway in the corner of the first floor. Right, but you, you just can't walk into the second no. floor. No, no. Why? Uh, we, we did an addition six years ago and our kitchen runs all along that yeah. left wall. So there's really no like, refrigerators, oh, there cabinets. There's plenty of there's things you could do, but I yeah. don't know if you want to spend money. I just don't understand. Uh, so what do you have in upstairs in the, in the, in the, in the second floor? Uh, just a kid's game room. Same thing, pool table, couch, maybe a TV. No water, no nothing? No, no water. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I thought you were going in there to like, you know, the kids have a bath, a half bath or something. I didn't no. Know. So, All right. So you're, room. Just, you're just going to have a playroom on the second floor. Yeah. Which, you know, uh, who's building you? No, I'm a contractor. Okay. Yeah, okay. for you. All right. All right. I have no questions. I have none. No questions. No questions. Good. You can have a seat. Thank you. Is there anyone want to speak in favor? First call, second call, third call closed. I have a letter here from DPW. They have reviewed the above reference project and have no comments. Anyone opposed to any sign? First call, second call, third call, closed. I'll be voting in favor. In favor. In favor. Uh, in favor. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Brian Bernard for a variance to construct a new two story garage on the side of the home on the premise number 41 Cranch Street, Quincy, and make a motion to grant the variance. Second. second. On the motion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Some move. 
Thank you. Brandon, that's night. JBC for a variance to build a two and a half. No, that's moved. No, nope, this one. Yep. <laughs> for variance finding to construct an addition on the existing second floor and finish the basement on the premises 39 Baxter Ave. Good evening, Chair and members of the board. My name is Bonnie Tan, representing JCBT Architect. I'm 39 Baxter Ave. Um, existing house is one and a half story, sitting on a rest B zone, uh, 4,400 square feet a lot, with two bed and one full bath. Um, client, my client is seeking to do a second floor addition uh, with a total, with adding two bed, two full bath, and an open finish playroom in the attic. Uh, seeking FAR uh, variance. Yeah, it's way out. Yeah. 0.54, right. And you just gotta. But still we remain a single family. The knee walls are gonna be the same. On the, on the second, second floor, floor, when you put it up? The se second the floor is a se oh, the attic or the second floor? Yeah. Attic will be no knee wall. No knee wall. Just no knee wall, just okay. a roof. Okay, yeah. so you, you just pitch. the playrooms in the middle? Just playroom in the middle, yeah, with right. a few skylight. All right. No bathroom, no nothing, just open. All right. I have no further questions, anyone? No questions. Just over existing footprint. Too. Yep. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's just it's like, but you know, that's what they got the attic, they got the basement. Is it because it's double the? Yeah. It's, is that why we see this one? Because it's double the square? Over the existing, so we're seeing this because it's double the square foot. Oh, it's over the FAR. It's over the FAR and double the Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 FAR variance okay. because it's residential B. No, I just, sometimes yeah. I got to make sure we see these cases for a reason, you know? I don't want to see unnecessary things. <laughs> basement <laughs> basement like remain unfinished. I'm trying to save you money, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Any questions at all? No. 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 Right. Have a motion, please. Mr. Chair, JC, uh, CBA 2339, JCBT, architect for variance, find and construct an additional of the existing second floor and finish the basement on the premise number 39 Baxter Avenue. Quincy, I make a motion to grant the variance and find it. Second. On the motion, stand on all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, so move. Mr. Chair, make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? <laughs> <laughs> all opposed? No, no one wants to go. Thank you. <laughs>